Hey guys, today I would like to talk about the biggest mistake you make on a harmonica. We're actually on any instrument, so check it out. Well, there are many common mistakes. They're very kind of serious and they have already been covered by other guys in different videos and they have done a really great job of that. I mean, the mistakes range from like playing too hard, being careless about intonation, or moving too much on a harmonica, and so on and so forth. But uh, in the end, there's something else that really matters. It determines whether your harmonica playing, your music is bearable or listenable, so to say. Yes, yeah, so the word indeed is listenable. And uh, so let me, let me show you what I mean. I'm not sure if I really can play badly anymore. <laughs> that I guess yeah so what did you notice what what, what was wrong with that um, apart from everything um, what are what is the thing you should be mostly focused on uh, concentrating on when playing music when improvising um, is it tone is it um, is it intonation let's find out well it turns out that uh, the most important thing that uh, determines whether your playing is actually well, musical and listenable or bearable um, is not so much what you play but how you play it and most importantly uh, whether you respect the time and rhythm of the tune you play to or improvise to. Now you see you can play the wrong notes if you play them with an attitude, with proper rhythmic phrasing, they can, well, they can pass, you know, for for good improvisation. Um, now, if your rhythm is wobbly, is not stable, well, even the best notes will sound annoying. You could hear in the example I I, I did at the beginning. Was, I was all over the place and I didn't focus on on what the band was playing and uh, that's probably it I mean you, you try to you know give it your best give it all you have but why wouldn't I I mean I have this belt full of harmonicas and I want to blow my soul into them I want to impress everyone you forget about the other guys who are playing with you you don't listen to the music it's, it's a state of mind actually so Rather than playing fast uh, phrases that are all over the place, um, hitting notes ahead of the rhythm or behind the rhythm, I mean, it's really to focus on, on the, like fewer notes and um, shorter phrases. Now, being ahead of time is actually worse than being behind. So uh, maybe just a little thing to consider. I mean, a lot of jazz players they like to, like to lag behind a tiny bit so now you yeah, avoid being ahead of time <laughs> actually try to be spot on on time now so what can you do I mean practice with metronome yeah there's a simple thing but concentrate on what the, the band is playing <laughs> Right? So, short phrases, try to place them on the beat at first. Uh, long notes, placing them on the beat, uh, don't do anything fancy. I mean, you want, you want to sound good playing slow rather than bad playing fast. I mean, you can play the fastest thing you can uh, play, and um, but if you do it out of time, it's going to sound really really crap <laughs> believe me 
And uh, most people would rather listen to to stuff that is well placed rhythmically rather than rather than played fast. I hope you liked the video. Please let me know in the comments what you think the biggest problem of harmonica players is. And uh, if you are up for some more content, just subscribe to my channel. See you soon in another video.